Child Psychology Naturalistic Observations Naturalistic observations take place in the participant's natural setting. Participant observations is where the researcher is involved in the situation. Non-participant observations is where the researchers remain apart from the situation. Overt observations are where participants are aware that they are taking part. Covert observations are where participants are not aware that they are taking part. Quantitative, quantitative data, categories are developed and tallying is used. Qualitative data, if records are, and sometimes transcripts are made so that all the detail is gathered. Inter-observer reliability can be checked by having more than one observer and comparing the findings of the different observers. Naturalistic observations in child psychology. Part in 1932 found different types of play according to child's age, watched free play sessions, which meant that children were allowed to choose what they played with and how they spent their time. Patterson, 1982, recorded parent-child interactions in detail to understand what triggers led to particular behaviours. Krinik et al. 2005 see whether stress in parents affected children. Questionnaires used to decipher the daily hassles that would generate stress were gathered from parents and home observations were carried out every six months to two years, for two years. Evaluation of naturalistic observations. Strengths. They're valid in because they are they take place in a natural setting, so natural behaviour is observed. Reliable, because tallying, time sampling, prepared categories and more than one observer can give inter-observer reliability. Weaknesses. They are not valid in that there is an observer, so the behaviour might have be affected. Not, um, they are not valid because of observer drift, where observers move away from the plan. They are also not reliable because observation is at one time in one situation with particular observers and the same situation is not likely to occur again.